We all have habits that we do every day without thinking much about them, right? Well, what if I told you that some of these habits are actually harming your brain? Yes, you heard me right. Your brain, the most important organ in your body, the one that controls everything you do, think and feel, is being damaged by some of the things you do every day and you might not even realize it. So in this video, we are going to reveal to you eight of these habits and trust me, some of them will surprise you. You might think that they are harmless or even good for you, but they are not. They are actually hurting your brain in ways you can't imagine. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, you don't floss your teeth. Do you floss your teeth every day? If not, you might want to start doing it right now. Research shows that flossing your teeth and maintaining good oral hygiene may protect against cognitive decline and diseases like Alzheimer's. Now you may be wondering, what does your teeth have to do with your brain? Well, it turns out that the bacteria and inflammation caused by periodontitis, which is a severe form of gum disease, could travel through the blood and reach your brain. In fact, recent studies have shown that adults with more tooth loss had a 48% higher risk of cognitive impairment and 28% higher risk of dementia, and with each additional missing tooth, the risk of cognitive impairment grows. If that is not enough to convince you, another study published in July 2023 found that brushing and flossing could help shield your brain from dementia by slowing down the rate of brain shrinkage. The study found that people who had mild gum disease had an average brain shrinkage rate of 0.7% over 10 years, while those who had severe gum disease had an average rate of 1.2%. So to improve your oral health and protect your brain, brush your teeth two to three times a day with fluoride toothpaste, floss at least once a day to remove plaque and food particles from between your teeth, and of course visit your dentist twice a year for checkups and cleanings. Number two, spending too much time alone. Maybe you're an introvert who enjoys your own company or maybe you're going through a tough time and don't feel like socializing. Whatever the reason, you might want to reconsider your isolation habits because they could be harming your brain in more ways than you think. A study from the American Academy of Neurology found that older adults who had little social contact with others had lower overall brain volume and more brain shrinkage in areas related to memory and dementia than those who had more social contact. The researchers also found that socially isolated people had more white matter lesions, which are small areas of brain damage that can impair cognitive function. A recent study showed that chronic social isolation can increase the levels of a neurochemical called tachykinin in the brain which is associated with aggression and fear. This could explain why some people who are lonely feel more irritable, moody, and less tolerant of others. So what can you do to prevent these consequences? Well, the obvious answer is to seek out more social contact and avoid isolating yourself for too long. But this is easier said than done, especially if you're shy, introverted, or have social anxiety. So you can start small by reaching out to a friend or family member you trust and work your way from there, or you can seek help from a therapist. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number three, skipping breakfast. It turns out that skipping breakfast can harm your brain in more ways than one. Let me tell you how. First of all, your brain needs glucose to function properly. Glucose is a type of sugar that your body gets from the food you eat especially carbohydrates. When you wake up in the morning, your blood glucose level is low because you haven't eaten for several hours. If you don't eat breakfast, your brain has to rely on other sources of energy, such as stored glycogen or ketones. This can make you feel tired, sluggish, and unfocused. Several studies have shown that skipping breakfast can impair your cognitive performance, especially in tasks that require working memory, attention, and executive function. Skipping breakfast can also increase your risk of developing dementia and Alzheimer's disease, which are both neurodegenerative diseases that cause progressive loss of memory and cognitive function. But one of the risk factors for developing these conditions is chronic inflammation in the brain. Inflammation is a natural response of the body to fight infections and injuries, but when it becomes chronic, it can damage healthy cells and tissues. Skipping breakfast can trigger inflammation in the brain by causing blood sugar spikes and insulin resistance, which is when your body cells don't use the glucose in your bloodstream. Number four, sitting too much. 
You probably already know that sitting for long periods of time can increase your risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and even premature death. But did you know that it can also affect your memory and cognitive function? According to a recent study, people who are more sedentary have thinning in brain regions linked to memory. This means that their brain cells are shrinking and losing their connections, which can impair their ability to recall information and learn new things. The researchers found that the more hours the participants spent sitting, the thinner their medial temporal lobe was, which is a part of the brain that is crucial for forming and storing memories. So why does sitting harm your brain? Well, one possible explanation is that sitting reduces blood flow to the brain, which deprives it of oxygen and nutrients. Another possibility is that sitting increases inflammation and stress hormones in the body, which can damage brain cells and impair their function. So try to sit less and move more. Try to break up your sitting time with short bouts of physical activity, such as walking, stretching, or doing some household chores. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise per day and vary your activities to keep your brain stimulated. Number five, staying in the dark for too long. Do you like spending time in the dark? Maybe you enjoy watching movies with the lights off or sleeping in until noon. Well, I hate to break it to you, but staying in the dark for too long can actually harm your brain, according to studies. You see, our brains need light to function properly. Light helps regulate our circadian rhythms, which are the natural cycles of sleep and wakefulness that affect our mood, energy, and cognition. Light also stimulates the production of neurotransmitters, which are the chemical messengers that carry signals between neurons in the brain. So what happens when we deprive ourselves of light? Well, according to a study by Michigan State University neuroscientists, spending too much time in dimly lit rooms and offices may actually change the brain's structure and hurt one's ability to remember and learn. Other than that, some humans may suffer from seasonal affective disorder, which is a type of depression that occurs during the winter months when there is less natural light available. According to studies, seasonal affective disorder may be caused by neuronal death in brain regions that produce norepinephrine, dopamine, and serotonin. These neurons may be vulnerable to damage from lack of light and may not be able to regenerate. So try to get more exposure to natural light during the day. This can help reset our circadian rhythms and boost our mood and cognition. Number six, not sleeping enough. Sleep is not just a luxury, it's a necessity for your brain to function properly. When you sleep, your brain goes through different stages of activity that help it process information, consolidate memories, regulate emotions, and repair itself. Without enough sleep, your brain suffers in many ways. For example, lack of sleep can impair your attention span, learning ability, problem-solving skills, creativity, and judgment. That's right, sleep deprivation can make you less smart and more prone to mistakes. It can also affect your mood and make you more irritable, anxious, and depressed. Not to mention that it can increase your risk of Alzheimer's and other neurological diseases in the long run. So how does this happen? Well, researchers have found that sleep deprivation reduces the level of a protective protein called pleiotrophin in the brain, which leads to neuronal death in the hippocampus, which is a part of the brain involved in learning and memory. Sleep deprivation also disrupts the balance of chemicals and hormones in the brain that regulate appetite, metabolism, mood, and stress. So how much sleep do you need to keep your brain healthy? The answer may vary depending on your age, lifestyle, and individual needs, but experts generally recommend getting about seven to nine hours of sleep per night for adults. Number seven, smoking. Smoking is not only bad for your lungs, heart, and skin, but also for your brain. Smoking reduces the amount of oxygen that reaches your brain. This can impair your brain function and make you feel tired, foggy, and forgetful. Smoking can also increase the levels of harmful chemicals in your blood, such as carbon monoxide, nicotine, and metals. These chemicals can interfere with the normal functioning of your brain cells and cause inflammation and oxidative stress. According to research, current smokers are 30% more likely to develop dementia and 40% more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease than non-smokers. Smoking can also shrink your brain volume over time. A study published in 2018 found that smoking can cause a decrease in brain volume, especially in the areas related to memory, learning, and reasoning. The more cigarettes a person smokes, the greater the decrease in brain volume. Other than that, 
smoking can increase your risk of stroke, which occurs when a blood vessel in the brain is blocked or bursts, cutting off the blood supply to a part of the brain. This can cause brain damage and affect your speech, movement, vision, and cognition. Smoking can make your blood sticky and more likely to clot, which can lead to a stroke. Number 8. Eating too much junk food. Junk food can activate the reward system in your brain, which releases a chemical called dopamine. Dopamine makes you feel good and motivates you to repeat the behavior that triggered it. Sounds great, right? Well, not so fast. The problem is that junk food can overload your brain with dopamine, making it less sensitive to it over time. This means you need more and more junk food to get the same level of pleasure, just like a drug addict. This can lead to cravings, addiction, and overeating. Other than that, junk food is highly processed and contains high levels of sugars and fats, which are not found in natural foods. These substances can trigger an inflammatory response in your body, which can also affect your brain. Inflammation in the brain can damage the cells that are responsible for memory, learning, and mood regulation. One study found that eating junk food for just five days increased inflammation in the hippocampus, which is a part of the brain that regulates appetite and fullness signals. This can make you feel hungry all the time and eat more than you need. So next time you feel like grabbing a burger, fries, or a candy bar, think twice. Your brain will thank you for it. So there you have it, eight innocent daily habits that are harming your brain. By avoiding these habits, you will protect your brain and keep it healthy for a long time. Now, what do you think? Do you have some of these habits? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.